Once again, students, welcome to Bhola Nath Academy. Students, so far we have for uh, we have got the value of spin magnetic moment and orbital magnetic moment. Now, students, here we are going to determine the value of J. If you if you want to determine the value of J, students, you should see the my previous video that is spin contribution, spin magnetic moment and orbital magnetic moment. In the lanthanide series, students, the spin contribution that is yes and orbital contribution L. Coupled to give a new quantum number that is called as J. That means, students, electron. Uh, if you want to find out the value of J, you should know the spin magnetic moment. You should know the orbital magnetic moment. If you have to couple, and then only you will get the value of J. When the f orbital is more than half fulfilled, then J value you have to calculate in this way. You have to add mag. Uh, this is the orbital magnetic moment and this is what spin magnetic you have to add these two spins that means orbital magnetic moment and spin magnetic moment we have to add then one then you will get the value of j students what happens that means it totally depend upon the whether the f orbital is fully filled or it is half filled now students what happens when the f orbital is half filled or less than half full then what happens if you want to find the value of j you have to subtract you have to l use this formula l minus s when the f orbital is half or less than half full then you have to use this formula students if say for example students if you want to find out the determine the value of j for gallium 3 plus for that students you should know the s for s value s for gallium gallium 3 Plus, which is already given, I have already explained. It is zero. When you see the no students, it is uh, seven upon two. We have got s yes for s yes value of gallium three plus is seven upon two, and l for gallium that is orbital magnetic moment of gallium three plus we have got zero. Okay, students. In previous video, we have explained how these values are coming. Now, if you want to find out the J value, students, because J value form is equals to J value become which formula we are going to use, students? We have to use L plus S. Why? Why we are using L plus S, students? When you write the gallium three plus, students, what is the electronic configuration, students? Gallium three plus electronic configuration. If you want to write, students. Gallium, gallium three plus. When you see the gallium, students, gallium atomic number is sixty four. Three plus, students, it is xenon fifty four. Four f seven five d zero and six s two. That means here, students. Seven, seven subatomic orbitals are there. So one one electrons will go to each orbitals. That means this is when orbital is more than half fulfilled. So that is why we are using what this formula J is equals to L plus S. Okay, students. If it is more than half filled, then we have to subtract it. Students, L minus S. Then we have to use. So students, here L value we have got what zero, and S value we have got. Seven upon two, seven upon two. You are getting answer seven upon two. This is the J value. Okay, students. If you know the J value, then only you have to put the value in the magnetic moment. You will get the answer. So this way, students, you can calculate the value of J with the help of the orbital magnetic moment and the spin magnetic moment. Okay, students. These are very important students. Thank you, thank you very much. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it.